What's up, dudes and dudes in the year now? My name is Seth, and we are back here for the trove. To the trove. <laughs> patch notes. What? Yeah, that's right, folks. They ended up actually delaying the patch notes from the usual Tuesday to a Thursday patch. So uh, I'm actually recording this yesterday so that I have time to actually have it out today. But how y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic and wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. So before we begin, I do want to also mention to the console players, I know it's been a little while since there was an episode, but don't worry, I've got some very, very big surprises coming with that. But as far as the PC players are concerned, today we're going to be giving away information rather than a prize. So I would still very much appreciate if you would hit that like button and thank you so much if you do now without further ado Let's just get right into it This is the Snowfest save the season kind of the part two of the Snowfest event that was already uh, Going on prior so help save the season with an all-new quest chain defeat invading evil robots and craft your very own Griff 3000 that's what this thing is right here. Yes, it is a gliding mount. Uh, it is actually a griffin, but it's Robot-y and cool, you know, isn't it neat? I, I actually really like it. Um, plus, get great rewards like a ninth life gem booster, 25 Dragonite, and stuff like that for completing a bunch of uh, objectives. You must have completed the tutorial objectives in order to actually see these, so some people might run into issues with that. The quests are as follows. Uh, for the first one, you're just gonna have to complete five dungeons, pretend chaos chests. I'll have a separate video talking about this as well, just to kind of let people know who don't wanna go through the entire patch notes. Uh, then the next part of the quest is to buy an item from the marketplace, and then you'll get 30 snowballs. Then there is forge 10 items, so you can either just swap the gear, like the aura of a uh, radiant sword or hat, uh, stellar hat, or you can end up just going into a novice world, gain some garbage gear, forging it up, to level five uh, until you have a total of 10. That's gonna give you an empowered gem box. Then there is mine 100 infinium. You can't buy it, you have to mine it. Uh, and that's going to end up giving you five ge regeminators, so who cares. Kill 500 enemies for the ninth life. Complete 50 one star dungeons. You can just go into novice world for that one and you're gonna get 25 Dragonite for that. And then finally, the last of the quest is going to be capturing five fish it doesn't necessarily have to be fish you just have to get something on your fishing line for it to actually register and then you're gonna get five untradeable chaos chests as well new present dungeons have appeared find the ice ice baby dragon inside <laughs> whose chest can contain the colorful gift carousel. So this is actually the other mount uh, that I, I kind of was wondering in the last patch. I did mention how this was probably going to be in the part two of the Snowfest event, and sure enough, it is. Doesn't really have any VFX outside of the glowing, uh, well, whatever the stars coming out of it. But this is just a rare drop from those dungeons, so do not avoid the presence until you end up having this one. It looks very similar to the other one that we had from the last event. Flametron Mark II's Rock. Rocket Dungeon can now be found in the permafrost biome. I'll insert some footage. The dungeon's actually really, really cool. Uh, and I'm also going to make, like, in another separate video, it's probably going to be a really, really short one because lots of people are always asking how you actually defeat this guy. So you're not only going to be able to find this boss inside the dungeons, but you're going to be able to find him just out in the world, out in uber worlds and stuff like that. And uh, depending on what Uber you're in, he's going to end up dropping different amounts of souls. Even in U9, you're only going to end up getting four of the special... Uh, well, I call it a uh, soul because it's the same as a dragon soul, pretty much. But it's what's going to be required in order to actually craft the griffin mount if you're not going to buy it from the store. But anyways, in order to actually defeat this boss, he's going to have a shield of invincibility on his person at all times. Uh, and then the only way that you can defeat him is you come over to here in the hub go to the Snowfest table and then you have to have sub-zero snowflakes which you get from completing the gigantic uh, Christmas tree, tree dungeons I think you get some from the present dungeons as well so don't worry snowflakes are all over the place uh, but you're gonna craft the enchanted snowball with these these are just gonna end up showing in your crafting menu so you might not see it appear in your inventory uh, but you're gonna need these enchanted snowballs and someone's gonna have to pelt the boss with them to bring his shield down for like a second before it regenerates right away. And this boss is actually game-breakingly powerful. Like, he's, he's a little bit too powerful, honestly. I think the devs 
might be getting a little bit salty that everybody's completing all of the quests so super duper fast and defeating all the bosses so super fast so they ended up putting this bad boy out and he is powerful like even in u9 he'll just drain even the strongest tank like just their health just because he's so powerful i'll insert some footage of the boss but one thing that i do think is really cool about the boss is the fact that it kind of requires you to play as a group even in u9 the boss is that powerful that it kind of forces players to actually play as a group in order to defeat him right and i think that's really really cool that said one of the biggest problems with the boss is that uh like one of the things that i think kind of takes away from that is if you have over eight people around the boss they're not gonna get drops because the way that trove's coded only eight people in the vicinity can actually get a drop so make sure that you have a smaller group or if you have a huge group that's what i ended up doing thank you to all the fans that ended up helping me out with that one but uh, i pretty much just got invited like left and right and had this huge mob of people just destroying the entirety of the world right but anyways, uh, you're going to end up getting the Dark Nick Gears. <clears throat> I, like, we keep making fun and saying, is it like Dr. Robotnik or the Dark Gears and stuff? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, you're going to need those gears in order to actually craft Griff right here. So you need 300 of them. So even if you're in U9 uh, and you're getting four gears per boss, you're going to still have to track down and defeat 75 of them in order to actually even get enough gears to even get this right and then it's quite a bit of robo salvage for most average players uh the meteorite fragment that's not too difficult and lots of people in game were actually asking where do you get meteorite fragments i already had a video come out very recently how to get meteorite fragments because i find that it's a resource that lots of people always ask about uh but anyways the other thing that you can do Keep in mind that this mount actually costs 300 because for some weird reason, if you go over to the, I think it's the vault section, yeah, you can see right here, crate of 150 gears for 750. So let's just take a peek, 750 crates is five bucks. So they're trying to act like this is a deal for pay to win players. That's a $10 mount because what's the point in selling 150 instead of just the whole 300? It doesn't make any sense. So honestly speaking, uh, you know, I think that this is a terrible deal. Go and buy yourself Terraria instead because that is going to last like hours and hours longer. And honestly speaking, this mount, if you're grinding it nonstop, you can grind it very easily in less than a week. Uh, I grinded it in a day, you know, but of course I'm in U9 and had a whole bunch of people helping me out. So... I kind of take that for granted, right? Uh, but anyways, then on top of that, there's a couple additional fixes. There is going to be four new winter-themed costumes, uh, which can be made at the Chaos Crafter. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them because I don't have any Chaos Course. I might have to use some of my excess credits that I just happen to have uh, to get myself some more Chaos Chests. But these costumes are going to be right here, and the crafting recipes are as follows. Lots and lots and lots of glacial shards and chestnuts, and it's just very, very expensive. I wonder whether or not these are going to be temporary costumes or ones that are going to stay around for a long time i don't know but needless to say these costumes uh, as far as i know i don't think any of them have any video effects you know the devs are kind of just being lazy about that now but i do love the fact that they actually are adding more costumes more rapidly now you know so it's a very nice trade-off that they're just using some of the standard vfx that are already in the game uh so there is also fixed a bug where school of fish trophies are stackable they should be stackable. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Uh, fixed Chaos Tome to unlock the correct item in collections, because I guess it was unlocking something else. And then remove the duplicate Hydrojet Streamer Wings entry in the Chaos Crafter. Okay, I don't know what that is. And if you noticed in uh, one of my recent uh, Chaos Chess unboxing videos, when I went over to the premium collectibles, these wings weren't in there. They're back now. Nobody told, like, there's no patch, no nothing. They just suddenly just reappeared. Uh, and then as for extra patch notes, there is not that much that I could discover off camera. The mount itself, like the Griffin, if you actually craft it, it is tradable. Uh, the boss radar mod doesn't actually end up working for the fire enemy. Uh, I don't know if that's because he just is under a different type of code or something like that, but the ones that you find out in the world aren't going to end up having the big stream of light from the radar boss mod. The one inside the, uh, uh, in, inside the spaceship, though, that one definitely is. One of the things that I would say about that spaceship boss 
and just about the boss in general uh, is he's insane if he ends up generating with teleporting because then he teleports all over the place and nobody can snowball him and if he ends up generating with the duplication of himself like the minion duplication right because then he's gonna be <laughs> cloning himself and each of his clones are gonna have a shield and it's just like Man, alive is insane. It's a lot of fun, though. Uh, so there's also a very big, weird visual blug, bug blug, that you might notice while you're out in the world where kind of the camera is just going to go and ha you're going to have a lot of weird screen tearing. Uh, I think that's actually tied to the new uh, mount or to the new uh, boss enemy. Uh, then there is also one last thing I wanted to mention is if at all possible, if one of you amazing modders out there are listening and watching this video, Please make a Flametron Mark II costume for the Draco because I don't know why they didn't add something like that. It just it, it, it just fits, you know? Like, I could totally see, like, a little pyromancer type of guy for the normal Draco suit, and then you just take the boss's costume for the dragon itself, right? Wouldn't that be so cool? But anyways, that's already it for the patch notes, everybody. The video went on a little bit longer than it should. Patch will be on, uh, links will be in the description for all this stuff as well, and you can actually read through the info very quickly. Uh, but I'm gonna have a couple side quick tutorial videos so that you don't have to go through it's only 10 minutes, but at least, you know, I'm going to have a couple side videos just to show players, like, here specifically is what you end up doing for the quest, what you end up getting, uh, here's how you end up fighting the boss and stuff like that, right? So, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Side on, stay epic, everybody. Only